In this part, we will take up the next bone which is in the axial skeleton and that is sternum or breast bone. Sternum or breast bone. It is on the ventral side in the chest region. So this below the neck here the uh, collarbone is and from the collarbone up to the middle part. This is the bone that we are talking of. This is sternum. It is about 15 to 17 centimeters long and it also provides the attachment for some ribs. All ribs are not attached to sternum that we will see when we come to rib cage but there are some ribs which are attached to sternum. Now when we were talking about the thoracic vertebrae we said our ribs are attached on the posterior side to the backbone and anteriorly to this breastbone or sternum. We are talking only about the first seven one. This sternum, it is absent in some reptiles. Absent in snakes, turtles. These animals, they don't have this breastbone. And in case of humans, when we talk of this breastbone, it is divided into three parts. It has three parts. And these three parts are written as prosternum. This is the first part. And there is another term which is given to it. It is also known as manubrium. The second part is known as mesosternum. It is the largest part and it is commonly referred to as the body of the sternum. And the last part which is the smallest and cartilaginous it is known as metasternum. And another name is given to it on the basis of the cartilage which it is made up of. It is called Zephy sternum. Because it is made up of a cartilage which is called Zephoid cartilage. Now let us draw the structure and see what all parts are we talking about. Prosternum, it is a little flat piece, and this piece provides articulation for the first pair of ribs. So this particular uh, hexagonal shaped approximately or very close to that, this is the prosternum. Pro sternum. And this facet which we see here, this is the place to which the first pair of rib will get attached. Below this is present the body part, the mesosternum and as we said this is the largest part. So this mesosternum which makes the body, here also maximum ribs are attached. So here we see these articulating facets where the ribs get attached. And it provides attachment for, we will write down the number of the ribs to which or which are attached here. Let me put this is for the second pair of rib, the third, the fourth, the fifth, sixth here and the seventh one. So we have to make it a little smaller. So this is sixth and this is the seventh one. So this is the shape of the mesosternum or the middle part or the body part. So here is the second rib, then third, fourth, fifth, sixth and the seventh. This is how the ribs will be attached. So this part is known as the mesosternum or the body part. Below which is the last part and this last part is cartilaginous and it is a small structure. So this is the metasternum. So when we talk of the breast bone, 
there are three pieces which are there. The first part, the uppermost part, which is a little flattened. This bone is completely flat, but this upper piece is prosternum, then meso and metasternum. Metasternum is cartilaginous. First pair of rib articulates with the prosternum. The second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh, they articulate with the mesosternum and there is no articulation of rib with the metasternum. So this bone is the breast bone or the name which is given to this bone is sternum. It is present on the ventral side. So here we will write on ventral side and the function it provides articulation for the ribs. Articulation for ribs and how many ribs are directly attached to sternum that is one to seven first seven and we will see how the other ribs are attached to either sternum or other ribs directly or indirectly that we will take up when we come to the rib cage so this is our bone of axial skeleton that is sternum in the next part we will take up the rib cage